Hi, my name is Brad Bogus. Now I'm going to guide you through a few advanced footwork techniques. Now with everything, you need to know the basics. And with fencing, footwork is the most important part of the entire sport. Most, fe most fencers win or lose a point based on their footwork. You have to keep the distance, you have to close distance, and you have to do it quickly and methodically. And this is a good way to actually advance your footwork to a place where you can gain good points. The first I'll show you is known as the balestra. A balestra is a, is a quick hop or leap forward or backwards when at a point. So you're in stance, that's a balestra. It's like an advance, only instead of actually making the advance, what you're doing is doing it quickly and you're doing it effectively by hopping forwards. A lot of times you'll use a balestra to start a lunge. So if you want to close an attack very quickly, balestra lunge. What it's doing is it's getting you a lot of distance very fast. Now I'll show you what an incortata is. When I was talking earlier about counterattacks, you want to be able to maneuver your body in a way that you can avoid their attack. So an opponent makes an attack on you. Incortata is turning your body the opposite way of your opponent, exposing your back, but effectively dodging their blade with your back foot coming out, the back of your heel facing your opponent, and you get down like this. That's known as incortata. It's a way of, of letting the opponent pass by you, making your counterattack, and avoiding their blade altogether. With incortata, you want to make sure that you land your counterattack before your back foot steps outside of the strip, otherwise you'll get awarded, you'll get awarded a penalty, and your, count, your point will not count. But if you're facing your opponent, they make the attack, incortata, you avoid them in a slightly dramatic way, make your counterattack, and you'll take their point from them.